Hello, my fellow artists. Welcome to art class with me, Felicia. I'll be teaching you about different 20th century modern and contemporary artists. Today, we are learning all about Jacob Lawrence. He was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and lived from 1917 to 2000. He lived in Harlem for most of his life, but later on moved to Washington State and was a professor at the University of Washington for 16 years. The style of art that Lawrence is known for is called social realism. Okay, so let's talk about that term social realism. This style of art is very different from the abstract expressionist painters we have been studying. Social realism means that the artist is painting real life social and political conditions to show the inequalities faced by people of color. Social realism artists like Jacob Lawrence use their art to tell real life stories about the people around them in order to call attention to these inequalities. So Jacob Lawrence was brought up in Harlem. He attended the Harlem Art Workshop and studied under Charles Alston. In 1937, he went to the American Artists School in New York City and then became a painter in the WPA Federal Art Project which was a New Deal program to fund the visual arts in the US. In the 1930s and 40s, Lawrence painted a series of portraits of historical scenes illustrating the lives of famous people of color, such as Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman. And he also traced the migration northward of African Americans after the Civil War. Later on in his career, he dedicated his art to the civil rights movement and such causes as the desegregation of the South. His migration series was painted in the style he called dynamic cubism. You can see how it is similar to a cubist painting by Picasso. And the picture narrative of the story flows from left to right, just like in a book. Each painting's caption, which was written by Lawrence, is a story about aspirations, economic success, and perseverance. The series was popular with critics and viewers alike because it illustrated the American ideals about individual good fortune. Lawrence captured an important historical moment with his migration series. Lawrence wrote, My pictures express my life and experiences. I paint the things I know about and the things I have experienced. The things I have experienced extend into my national race, racial class and group. Okay, so now that we've learned all about Jacob Lawrence, let's answer a few questions about him. First question, where was Jacob Lawrence raised? Was it Harlem, New York or Washington, DC? Take a moment and pause the video if you need to. If you said Harlem, New York, you would be correct. Nice work. Second question, what style of art was Jacob Lawrence known for? Was it Impressionism or Social Realism? If you said Social Realism, you would be correct. Nice job. Third question. The Migration series was about the migration northward of African Americans after the Civil War or the migration of geese flying south for the winter. The migration series was about the migration northward of African Americans after the Civil War. If that was your answer, great job. Okay, so great job reviewing everything we've learned about Jacob Lawrence. Now we are going to make some art inspired by Lawrence. First, I will show you the instruction sheet and then you'll view a demo on how to make the project. Also, the instructions and the materials needed are listed in the bio of this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here is the demo for the Jacob Lawrence inspired artwork. So what you're going to need for this project is the um, Jacob Lawrence coloring sheet and something to color with. I'm going to use markers. Um, and there are two options for the coloring sheet. There's one that has a blank square here. And then there's another one that has some sentence starters because you are going to Fill out the color color in the painting, the Jacob Lawrence painting here, which is called 
the Migration Series, panel 58, which was made in 1940 to 1941. So you can, and then once you have colored it in, you are going to write a story about this painting. So you can choose to make up your own story and put it in this box here, or you can use these sentence starters to help you write your story. So you get to choose which one you're going to do. And um, so that's it for the project. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out, complete this project, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right. Okay, so here is the completed Jacob Lawrence inspired artwork. So I colored in the painting, the Migration Series, panel 58. I left some white space and that's okay. You can do that too. And then I filled in the blanks on the story here. I said the girls are writing on the chalkboard. School is fun. And my favorite subject in school is art. Um, so I hope you guys liked learning all about Jacob Lawrence and making this project inspired by him. And I'll see you next time. Great job.